The leader of the Republican Alternative Movement, Ilgar Mamadov, has filed an appeal against the Central Election Commission's refusal to register him as a candidate for October's presidential election. As the Executive Secretary of Real Nautic Jeffrey stated at the September 14th press conference held at the Office of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety, the CEC decision is illegal, biased, and politically motivated. The official decision of the CEC reads that out of the 41,247 signatures submitted in support of Ilgar Mamadov, 893 signatures were invalidated due to identity card issues of the signatories. It is likely that 4,900 signatures have been forged, follows the decision. It is absurd to deprive a candidate of participation in the election only on the basis of assumptions. Excluding the 893 invalid signatures, the number of valid signatures was still more than 40,000, which allows for the registration, continued Jeffrey. In his view, Ilgar Mamadov's participation in the elections would be contrary to the strategy of the authorities. If Mamadov was registered, it would increase the voter interest and atmosphere of competition would intensify. On the other hand, registration of Mamadov would mean his release from prison, which could lead to a new wave of protest movement and an ultimate victory of the democratic forces, believes Jeff Ali. In turn, the chairman of the Real's assembly, Erkin Gadderly, noted that authorities created obstacles for Mamadov still at the stage of nomination of candidacy by approving his nomination only 10 days before the deadline for submission of the signatures of support. So we had to collect signatures in less than 10 days, and this campaign has shown the growing popularity of Real. Our calls via Facebook were responded by thousands of people, mostly youth, and we managed to collect the required number of signatures while the government did not believe it could be possible, said Gatterley. Member of the Real Board, Zohrab Ismail, said that the campaign showed a large number of supporters of the movement across the country. Thus, in the city of Ganja, more than 1,000 signatures were given in favor of Mamadov, and hundreds of signatures were collected in Goychai, Hajmas, and other parts of the country. Such support convinced the movement's leaders to accelerate the transformation of Real into a political party. Finally, members of the Real announced that they would use all legal means to achieve participation of Mamadov in the elections. However, if the appeal is not fulfilled and the Supreme Court does not announce the decision of the CEC, we will call upon our supporters to vote for another opposition candidate, Jamil Hassanli, said Jeffrey.